What's going on, YouTubers? It's the Natural Born Thriller, and welcome everyone to AEW Double or Nothing Preview. What pertains to tonight's uh, AEW Double or Nothing pay per view on May 25th, 2019. And they're going to be in Paradise, Nevada, which is um, in Las Vegas, Nevada. They're going to be at the MGM Grand Garden Arena under the promotion of All Elite Wrestling. So, before we get to the pay-per-view, you know, what pertains to the cards, uh, and also what pertains to two pre-show matches, there's one match that's not going to be uh, um, added into the match, which it was the match between Hangman Page and Pac. Because um, whatever circumstances that was going on, what pertains to Pac um, with AEW. So what pertains to the match being cancelled due to creative differences, basically. Which it resulted to um, a pronto match that took place at, well, I won't say a pronto match, a match that was scheduled for Pac to wrestle against someone, I don't remember who it was, at WrestleGate Pro. And and Hammond Page as being the replacement for the um for the match. Uh, to face Pac, so the match, um, I believe it was for Pac's championship title match. You know, for, basically for Pac's championship title. So, Pac and uh, Hammond Page ends up having the match, which was a damn pretty good, pretty good match. And then Pac decided to just get himself disqualified. And. Hammond Page wins by disqualification. After the match, Pac attacks, um, you know, Hammond Page by, you know, pilmanizing him with the with the with the, um the chair around his knee, or ankle, whichever it was oh, it was doing, and then you know basically destroying um you know, you know, again pilmanizing, um Hammond Page, and then Pac on the mic said that he's not going to Los Angeles, he's not going. I mean, I mean, Las Vegas. I meant to say Las Vegas. He's not going to Las Vegas, Nevada. He's not going to uh, to the double nothing. He's not going to AEW, and that was it. Now I don't know if that's part of the storyline and all that, but I don't know what was going on with that situation. But but yeah, um, that's that's the one match that was supposed to happen on on for double nothing, and it's not going to happen unfortunately. Instead, they decided to do it uh, at WrestleGate Pro, which was in, in London, England. I'm assuming it was in London, but it was somewhere from the United Kingdom, but but there you go. So that's that match out of the way. Now let's get to the other matches that's going to take place. First of all, let's take it, let's get to the pre-shows first. The pre-show will feature Kip Sabrian versus Sammy Gorvera. Uh, I don't know who these guys are, but I'm looking forward to see who, uh, who these who these guys are. And I'm going to give them uh, high expectations and my benefit of the doubt. And see what they how they how they perform. As far as I want to win, I'm gonna go with Sammy uh, Gorvira. Uh, and there you go. Then we get to the next pre-show match, which is gonna be a 20-man casino battle royale, where the winner will receive a future AEW War <coughs> excuse me AEW World Championship match against either Chris Jericho or Kenny Omega, and I'll get to that uh, match later on. But yeah, uh, the AEW World Championship Time match is Ray. Um, it's gonna be uh, you know, it's gonna be um, shown on the pay per view, and I cannot wait to see it. But as far as as the, the twenty men who's gonna be in the match, uh, the, the participants are Sunny Kiss, Brandon Cutler, Ace Marrero, uh, Glazer, Brian Pillman Jr., Sunny Days, MJF. Joey Janela, Dustin Thomas, Billy Gunn, Jimmy Havoc, Michael Nakazora, Jungle Boy, Isaiah Cass Cassidy, yeah, Isaiah Cassidy, um, Mark Quinn, Mark Quinnell, Mark Quinn, Mark Quani, Mark Quan. I'm trying to pronounce his name here. Um, Mark. Quinn, Mark Quinn, I did, I, I did, I say, uh, Luchasaurus, Sean Spears, and four yet to be announced. Now I'm assuming it's going to be one that's going to be Hammond Page, 
As far as the other three is, I can't think of who else uh, who, who could be in this match though. But I'm looking forward to see who the other four other three is going to be in the match. But I'm, I think Hammond Pace could be in this match too. So we'll see. But as far as who, who I want to win in this match so far that's been announced, I'm going to go with Brian Pillman Jr., the son of the late great Brian Pillman. So there you go. Now let's get to the pre. Now let's get to the main show for AEW Double or Nothing. Best friends, Chucky e. T, or just Chuck Taylor, and Trent Barilla versus Anhanico and Jack Evans. It's a, it's a tag team match, and I'm gonna go with Anhanico and Jack Evans to win. Then we get to the next match, which is a six women tag team match, which it will feature Aja Khan, uh, Kuja Sakazuki, and Emi Sakura versus. Akura Shinda, uh, Riho Abi, and uh, Ryu Mizunama. Nami. I mean, uh, wait, let me say this again. Miz uh, Ryu Mizunami. There you go. Now, I'm assuming that's how you say the names, but as far as I want to win, I'm going to go with uh, Aja Khan's team to win. So there you go. Then we get to. The Young Bucks, Matt and Nick Jackson, defend their AAA World Tag Team Championship against the Lucha Brothers, Pentagon Jr., who's going by Penta L0M, and Phoenix, who's just going by Phoenix. <laughs> you know, but yeah, uh, basically, you know, Pentagon Jr. and Phoenix, the Lucha Brothers, um, it's a tag team match for the Tag Team Championships for AEW. I mean, from I mean, from AAA, excuse me. And I'm gonna go with the Lucha Bros to win, to become to to get the titles back. Now I think they were championship champions before, but then I get I'm assuming they lost to the Young Bucks at one point, but I, I don't remember or not. But but yeah, but I'm gonna go with Lucha Bros to uh to become the new Triple A World Tag Team Champions. Then we get to Cody versus Dustin Rose. Now before I get to the match itself, there was a promo that. Well, a video clip of, of Cody Rose cutting a promo to his brother Dustin Rose, where it pertains to, you know, double or nothing, or you know, to you know, to promote it, where it pertains to Dustin being most, uh, famously known for his gimmick of Goldust in, uh, during the time of the Yatu era, um, in the WWE or you know at the time it was WWF, but which granted his release from, from them uh, earlier this year, this year. And in the following weeks, Cody Rose decided to, you know, Cody basically uh, would, would declare that he will defeat his brother as a way to kill the Attitude Era. And then everyone would start going crazy and everything about this. Now, when I first heard about this, uh, I, I was assuming that maybe Cody Rose mentioned this uh, during the press conference where it pertains to AEW, um, you know, confirming the deal with, with um, TNT to um, have it, uh, you know, to be, to be um, airing on this fall. And I was assuming that you know fans were going nuts, uh, you know, going, you know, losing, losing their minds because Cody uh, mentioned something about, uh, you know, that he wants to kill the Attitude Era, where pertains to um, Dustin Rose being Goldust and everything, and then something else where pertains to mentioning Dusty Rose, and basically mentioning about the the '90s and the 2000s, whatever. And I, I, I listened to the clip of it. And I was saying to myself, um, this is what people were, were losing their minds and losing their shits and um, you know, having a big fuss about it and all and everything. And I said to myself, it was a promo. A promo plugging and promoting the match that Cody was going to have against his brother Dustin. It was not to take a shot at the Attitude Era. It was not to take a shot at WWE. It was not to take a shot at anyone. It was all to promote. The match between himself and um, his brother Dustin. That's all that was. It was not a knockout uh, to era. So, and, and that's nothing. Cody was just a smart man. So, he, he there's no way he was going to do that anyways. You know, because he because he knows, you know, those uh, you know, it, those errors did pay the way for him to be in, in the wrestling business. Not not just because of his father of uh, during his days in the territories, but but because of you know stuff that he on um, that he grew up watching. And the, and the stuff that he grew up watching was the Attitude Era. So, people need to, to chill out and just calm down. It, he was not taking a shot at the Attitude Era. It was, 
again, it was all just to promote the match for them, uh, for the double nothing match. So, there you go. That's uh, that's nothing to say about that. So, so calm down, people. Now, as far as this matches, this is gonna be a match that's gonna be way better than the match that they had from from WWE Fastlane of 2015, when Goldust uh were up against Stardust. You know, Stardust was Cody Rose, and Dustin Rose was was Goldust, obviously. And and the that match at the time was terrible, bad, not good at all. It was bad booking, and it was bad booking because of WWE's influence. This is not WWE influence. This is AEW's influence. This is outside of WWE's influence. So Cody and Dustin Rose is going to have the, the proper match and the better match than they ever had in in WWE. And it's going to be a better build. It's going to be a better booking. It's going to be um a better hype. A better um characters in the ways you know for it presents to Cody and Dustin Rose. Now Dustin Dustin Rose is going to be having his own face paint. Look, which um, when I first saw the face paint, he looked like he's Darth Maul. Um, you know, it was a nice touch though, too, you know. But I can't wait to see it. The match itself, I, I'm gonna enjoy this match. Um, and there you go. Now, as far as who I want to, who I want to win here, Cody Rose. There you go. Then we get to a three-way match where it pertains to Britt Baker, who is the the fiance of you know leader of Undisputed Era, known as. Adam Cole, baby. Just, just saying. But yeah, Britt Baker uh, versus uh, Nella Rose um, versus Kaylee Ray. Yeah, yeah, Kaylee Ray, Kaylee Ray. Yeah, so yeah, Britt Baker, Nella Rose, and Kaylee Ray. And uh, as as far as who I want to win this match, Kaylee Ray. I'm gonna go for her to win. There you go. And Naya Rose, she's a, a transgender wrestler. So, there you go. Then we get to SoCal Uncensored, which it features Christopher Daniels, Frankie Kazarian, and Scorpio Sky. As they go up against um, Stronghearts, which is Sima, T Hawk, and El Lindaman. Or, or, or I think it's El Lindaman. I don't know, which, whichever it is, is pronounced. But yeah, it's a six-man tag team match. So yeah, I'll, I'm gonna go with FC. No, no, I, I, I said FC. <laughs> My apologies. I meant to say SC. Yeah, but yeah, um, I'm gonna go with SCU. Yeah, so I'm, yeah, that, and that's how they uh, they say it too. By the way, um, you know, so count and censor. You know, it pertains to the the initials. They say SCU. So there you go. Yeah, but yeah, I'm gonna go with uh, so so count and censor to win. And finally, the main event. For the inaugural, inaugural uh, AEW World Championship. Now I can't wait. To, I cannot wait to see how the belt looks, folks. Um, it's gonna be the first championship belt that's gonna be uh, introduced in AEW, and it's gonna be introduced at Double or Nothing. It's gonna be uh, safe for the main event between Chris Jericho versus Kenny Omega, and the winner of this match will face the winner of the. The um the Trayman uh uh casino battle royal in the near future. So yeah, Chris Jericho versus Kenny Omega. I'm gonna go with Chris Jericho to win here. You know, I'm a, I'm a fan of Kenny Omega, a big fan of Kenny Omega. Uh, love love his work. Love love his um love how he wrestles. Uh, love his character. Love uh, just love everything. Love everything about Kenny Omega. Um, now I won't, I wouldn't mind Kenny Omega winning either. Um, you know, Kenny Omega, um, one, you know, is one of the best wrestlers in the world. So it could go either way between Chris Jericho and Kenny Omega. But I'm gonna go with Chris Jericho for one, for one thing, and one, for one reason, and one reason only. And for example, for example, um, yeah, sorry about that. Uh, um, but yeah, but my my reason is because you know, pertains pertains to Chris Jericho. I think he's gonna win the belt here for one, you know, for, for I mean, for many, you know, I think for let's see. Two reasons, basically. Two reasons, I would say that. One reason, Kenny Omega has already gotten a win over Chris Jericho from New Japan Pro Wrestling, what pertains to Wrestle Kingdom 12. And two, Chris Jericho is going to get a title shot against Kazuska Okada for the IWGP uh, Heavy Championship at uh, Dominion, um, which is going to be coming, um, I believe, in, in next month, I believe, in, in June. I believe that's what the next pay-per-view is going to be for, um, for, for New Japan Pro Wrestling. But 
yeah, um, but basically, you know, Dominion, Kushoku was going to get, um, his first ever, uh, IWGP Heavyweight Championship title shot, uh, that he's ever gotten, uh, against the, the reigning champion himself, Kashusuka Okada. And in that and, and that match, Chris Jericho is not going to win that match either way because um, because Chris Jericho is going to be is is basically someone with AEW. So there's no way for Chris Jericho is going to um you know it's going to win the belt um you know and, and to compete for New Japan for wrestling. Um, so I don't see him winning the belt the, uh, against o Okada. Um, I mean it would be nice to see that though, but at the same time I don't see I don't see it happening though, which is why I'm going to go with Chris Jericho to win the AEW World Championship. You know, to you know. And also to get his win back against Kenny Omega. Now, will that happen? I don't know yet. But we have to wait and see. But like I said, it could go either way between, between Chris Jericho and Kenny Omega. Either way. I'll be fine with either either guys. But I'm going to go with Chris Jericho. If Kenny, if Kenny Omega wins, I'll be, fine, I'll be fine with that too. I'll look. And, 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 by all means, give it to Kenny Omega. But uh, I'm going to go with Chris Jericho here. And I'm, look, I'm looking forward to see what Chris Jericho's uh, new move is going to be. That's going to be named after... Um, the name Judas. Uh, basically, what pertains to his left elbow. It's going to be something about pertains to his left elbow. Um, I can't wait to see how that looks, bro. Um, I think it's, I think uh, it was a clip of it on YouTube, I'm assuming. But I didn't check. I didn't really see it. I didn't I really get to see it anyway. But I'm looking forward to see how, what, he's, what he's going to do. He's, he's basically going to introduce it, though. So, I can't wait to see it. So, that being said, there you go. Um, that's, that was the card. Uh, let me go through this again. Uh, Ahenico and Jack Gimmons to win. Uh, Aja Ken, uh, I mean, Aja Khan to, uh, you know, Aja Khan's team to win. Sammy uh, Guerrero to win. The Lucha Brothers to win. To be, you know, to win back to, uh, to, uh, become the new, uh, Triple A World Titan Champions. Brian Pillman Jr. to win the Toy Man One Man, uh, Casino, a Casino, uh, Battle Royal. To get a future title shot uh, of the AEW World Championship against either Chris Jericho or Kenny Omega. Um, Cody Rose to uh, for the win. Uh, Kaylee Ray to win. Uh, Chris Jericho to uh, get a new AEW World Champion. And finally, SCU to go over. Basically, so count and censor. And there you go, folks. That's my AEW Double Nothing <clears throat> Preview. There you go. <laughs> and with that being said, folks, thank, thank you all for watching. For It's the Natural Born Driller, saying peace on the streets from what pertains to AEW Double Nothing Preview. Take care, folks.